John here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yesterday I filmed my favorites for February, and today I'm going to be filming my Pandora retirement haul. I guess I should call it. Um, because I've been working on this <laughs> since January. <coughs> now, my if you can see, if you see my last video, you're gonna hear me coughing and hacking up my lungs pretty much. Um, I feel much better today and hopefully my filming reflects that because I just kind of wanted to just put something out there because I haven't posted I've really been that active in my social media in the last couple weeks and if you don't know this already I did get the flu and I've been struggling through it and I'm just now starting to feel like a real person again <laughs> so <coughs> I filmed my what is it my February favorites last yesterday um, and today I'm going to be filming my, like I said, my Pandora retiring haul. Um, so hopefully my filming reflects that I'm feeling better. Ah! And so I don't know if I'm going to be breaking this up into one part or two parts or three parts because it is quite a lot of jewelry I've been purchasing. Um, and then one, I don't want to bore you guys. Two, I don't want to saturate you guys. Three, I don't want to make this a super, super long video. So I like to try to keep my videos no longer than 30 minutes. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my timer on right now. Real fast, if you guys just kind of wonder what you're looking at. <laughs> timer. So I'm going to do 22 minutes. And that way I'll know I'm at 22 minutes. And if I go a little bit longer than that, or 25 or 30, then I know where I'm at. Okay. So we're going to start off with petites. <coughs> You're probably wondering, well, do you own a flowing locket? I don't technically own a flowing locket, um, but I did buy <laughs> this one. <laughs> I gave in. I'm not into the petites or the flowing lockets usually, uh, but I did give it in because I do like the ring. Um, I know Nicole has this and I asked her how it's been holding up and she said it's pretty good. And I was scared of it scratching. Could probably see a little bit of fingerprints there um but she said it's, it's actually holding off pretty well so we're gonna see we're gonna see i, I sometimes I, I don't mean to be rough with my jewelry but sometimes you know you can't help but knock things around sometimes so hopefully that won't happen to this and i'm a little concerned too because i think charmed love on instagram lost a couple because hers just popped right open so I'm hoping to maybe adjust this somehow. I'm not sure how yet, but I need to study the contraption of how this opens and closes. Maybe tighten it so that that doesn't happen because, you know, I bought this and of course I bought some, like it's a good snap as you guys can hear. So I bought this and I'm really happy with the purchase. So of course I bought me some petites to kind of go with it. Um, now I think these were the ones, I don't think they're all retiring or they were on sale. I think this one was still current, but I did end up buying this one, the love script and the angel, because I think these are all are on sale. Maybe not the angel, but I know the love and the star are on sale for sure. <coughs> also, please guys just <coughs> bear with me as I am still coughing. Unfortunately, I am trying to just live my life still. <laughs> You know what? I want to go ahead. Oh, I don't have to store them yet, yet. So I just kind of want to show you. So now I get to put my petites in this. Um, I may eventually buy a shine floating locket only because I love the two tone aspect of it, the gold locket with the silver inside it. You all know that I'm not a big fan of shine. The plating will wear off, especially on a locket. I would that will definitely will wear off. So I'm still kind of on the fence on that one, but. I do like the two-tone element. I really wish they did have it in gold. If it was a floating locket in gold, I'd definitely buy it. But the fact that it's plated, you guys know me. I just get turned off by it. So we're going to head and move on. <coughs> the next thing I wanted to showcase, actually, since we're on the rings, is... Oh, I should zoom out for this. Also, I know a couple weeks ago I polled you guys about whether I should film on the floor or on my table. Um, you guys mostly said that you kind of wanted you kind of wanted to see me back on the table, and I agree. Um, some people were saying that maybe 
for more casual laid back videos I could do it here on the floor because you guys enjoy watching my dog surprise me sometimes she just she would just hear if you heard her sniffing around um, but I do plan on making that change again I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about the lighting aspect of it because like I said it's um, very dark in my dining room now and even with the draw curtains drawn it's just very very dark <laughs> so getting back to this um, eventually like I said I will get back to my table um, now I just kind of want to go through my backlog of videos because I have so many videos that I've been mean to talk about and I just or film and I just haven't been able to because I haven't had the energy to do so <laughs> as you guys can hear me <laughs> struggling to breathe <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't wait to show these usually I don't showcase anything on Instagram until I've um, filmed it first and then I put it on Instagram and then I wear it. I've been meaning dying to wear these um, and I have been wearing them. Oh my god. Really? What? What do you want? Come here. Okay, I'm not going to play with you right now. <laughs> so I already showcased these on Instagram and I love, love how they look. Now they're not like the exact same shade of blue, but I don't care. I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> Can I zoom out even more? Yeah. So you guys have already seen these. And I will probably be doing a review on the chain ring. Okay. And then of course I got the, I think it's called those, the Vibrant Spirit in blue. Which I'm loving. I'm living for this right now. Especially with spring coming up. Spring colors are coming out now too. So nice pretty bright colors are coming back in style. I just want to show these and then I will do a review on these eventually and I also got these which is very surprising um, that they're retiring because they just came out I think but summer of last year I don't remember or spring of this I don't know <laughs> I also ended up getting the black one mostly because I kind of wanted to put something on with my Mia Moore ring which I also have so I got this as a middle finger ring which I'm having trouble putting on I'm not sure why. So this one I got for the middle finger. And this one I got for the ring finger. Because I have the Miamor ring and that's a middle finger, I mean a ring finger ring. And I thought maybe I could pair it and wear them together as, you know, two black rings. Um, so I got that one as well. <coughs> I think it was a little bit of an impulse buy, unfortunately. But I can always resell it if I change my mind. So I'll give you guys a closer look again. There's something about this black crystal too. It's kind of got this really weird sheen to it, which I like. Almost like a mirror finish. I mean, I wish it was Onyx. Or Spinel, that would've been nice, but you know, it's not too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, the blue one has that weird shine to it too. See that? It's kind of iridescent. I don't know what kind of material that is, but it's pretty cool and I like it. It's what I, I like this best. Um, continuing with rings, let's see, <coughs> I had these on my wish list and I suspected they are going to get retired and then boom they were retired so I, I grabbed them as soon as I could. Oh by the way, I forgot to mention, all of these pieces are a collective haul, it wasn't all at once, I didn't buy these all at once, I bought them here and there when I could between the concept store when these are still in the store because most of these are not in store anymore okay they're not they're not in store anymore um these might still be in the store but not the ones i just showed you they're not okay so between the store between battle.com between bella costa jewelers and rula la i purchased all of this and i can't tell you what came from where now because it's been such a long time like i said i've been working on this haul since january because things are getting retired and you we all know how nuts I go when I hear retirement everything that I've wanted or liked starts to get picked up and purchased because I hate missing out as it is I missed out on plenty of other things I wanted like plenty of earrings that I wanted because they were low on my priority list um, but I just didn't have the on all money you know it took a while to get all this because I had to get paid <laughs> so <coughs> excuse me these 
I'm really happy I got because I like my hearts. And I mentioned how I don't really have a lot of, um, what is it? I don't have a lot of little solitaire rings. So I decided to, to get me some, <laughs> you know, and I like my hearts and these make me really happy. And I kind of want to pair, um, this with this, hopefully, yeah, it's not going to work because I'm wearing these right now, but I want to wear this on my middle finger. Like that and then I have these here so I have all my hearts and of course I guess I can say that I was a little influenced by Valentine's Day because um, I think that's when I got this and these <laughs> so you're probably thinking oh my god so many hearts yes so many hearts but <laughs> I can wear hearts year-round they're not that just for Valentine's Day <laughs> <coughs> so I got my hearts I'm very happy I did <clears throat> I know that Ilona has them and so does Elizabeth, I think. I forget who else has these, but I'm very happy that I'm part of the club. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take these off so I can keep on showcasing the rest of my rings. Okay, so what I was saying before is that I got, you know, I want to wear these together as a stack or as a set. So I got my my locket, my flowing locket ring, big heart on it, and then I have my little hearts on, on the side. And I just like the way the combination looks a lot. So, yes. And as I was talking, I think in my last video, my, fav my February favorites, I do plan on playing that game again where I spin the wheel and I, <coughs> you know, stack my rings again. <clears throat> that really helped to kind of think outside the box and that really made me happy so I'm planning to do that again soon hopefully you guys enjoyed that video because I will be doing that again I can add these to that collection and as I was talking in my last video I most likely will probably get rid of the big statement pieces because I don't think there's enough room on the wheel for all of the rings because with this it pushes me over 50 rings for sure um, speaking of more rings I also got this I believe I got this off of, oh, I forgot, I don't remember anymore. Yeah, I don't remember. But I have it. I was also on the fence with this ring. Um, I think one of my like friends was talking about this ring and she was like, what do you think of this ring? And I told her, I said, you know what, I've always liked this ring. But for some reason, I've just been on the fence. I just haven't gotten it, you know, but I do, I think it's beautiful. And then Diamond D was talking about this ring too. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we all influence each other so I picked it up and she's like oh I love the ring and I'm like yes I'm so happy I got it so two people influenced me to buy this ring let me tell you and I'm so happy that I did because I love it love 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 it but this is a statement piece it's a little bit larger so I don't think I could stack anything with it I mean I could try but I don't know how that would go and I would have to use it on my middle on my ring finger to stack it but I don't know. <laughs> Should we try? Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> so for those bigger statement rings, I probably will exclude them from the spin the wheel one and um, just leave the wheel to the stacking rings and see how that goes. I don't even know if these can stack with. What do you guys think? Can I stack with these? I don't know. That's why I draw six. I spin the wheel six times and I veto. I can veto. I have the veto power. I can veto one or two if it just doesn't work. So we'll see. <laughs> Next we come to earrings. And I'm very happy that I scored the, it's called Midnight Star. Only because I think with these earrings, I have the complete set. I have the ring, I have the pendant, and now I have the earrings as well. And I just love that blue, it's so beautiful. I don't think I had a charm. There is no charm, right? So it's just, 
like I said, the earring, the pendant, and the earrings, the earring, the pendant, and the ring. The ring. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, so I got these. I had to get them as well, of course. I also got the vintage fan heart, I think it's called. And these were a little bit of an impulse buy. And that is because um, I have the matching charm and the matching, um, what is it, pendant that I scored last time too. But the reason why I got the earrings was because when I was little, I had some earrings just like this. Actually, and I'll show you these as well. I got the rose ones as well. Okay, which I like, I think, oops, oh, where'd it go? Here it is. So I got these as well. And the reason why is because when I was a little girl, my grandmother bought me some gold earrings um, to wear. Um, and I think my mom still has them. I don't think I have them. I think she still has them. She kept them for me. I may have lost one. <laughs> so she kept one as a kind of like as a remembrance, you know, like a, not a souvenir, but like to remember the fact that I had those earrings from my grandmother. Um, but they're a combination of these two earrings. So and I, my, my memory isn't what it used to be, so, and I can't remember what they used to look like. They were yellow gold. And I can't remember if they looked like this, heart-shaped, with a little fan design, or if they looked like this, they were round, with no heart design, but they were just like solid, no stone. Do you see what I'm saying? So I kind of got both as a combination, as an ode <laughs> to those earrings that I had when I was little. Cause I can't remember what they looked like. And then I know they were kind of like similar between these two styles. So yeah, I'll admit there may have been, these may have been impulse buys, but I will wear them. And I just wish I knew where I have to. I can remember asking my mom. She keeps telling me, but I keep forgetting what she, her answer is. I think they would look more like this, with no stone in the middle. But they're heart shaped. I don't remember. I don't remember. If I ever find them, or if my mom has them, I'll ask her, and I can take pictures or something. <laughs> All right. I also got this one, which when it first came out, I didn't really much care for it. I was like, wow, it's really a lot of color, all of enamel. It doesn't really have a meaning to me. But then once I <laughs> once I realized it was going to get retired, I started thinking about it and I started, it's like, I don't know why I do this to myself. Like, I can't always afford to buy every little charm that has meaning to me. So I force myself to like skip them over and not buy them. But when they, I know they're gonna get retired, then I start kind of really thinking about, it, like maybe overthinking about it, and I'm thinking, oh my god, but 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 this means something to me. Um, let me read what it says. Also, it says, "All I need is a little bit of paradise." Right there. Now, my favorite vacations with my husband have been to Hawaii, and I have to say, almost every no, not almost every single Hawaiian sunset has been amazing. I have pictures of all of them. And it just spoke to me. You know, once I knew I was getting retired and I was like, you know what? I really, really enjoy those vacations with my husband. We had some really good times there. Um, so I picked it up, you know, to symbolize those vacations. Because I think it's perfect, you know. And enamel is actually really nice. I mean, Panera enamel is pretty good. So I'm not worried about it chipping or having any issues. And in kind of pair it up with I also bought this one this one's not getting retired as far as I know it's not getting retired yet I thought it was <coughs> but I don't think it is but I picked it up because I thought it was gonna get retired and this also has <laughs> this also has meaning to me um because I've never been not, I always say scuba. It's not scuba. It's snorkeling. I've never been snorkeling until I got married and I had, you know, with my husband. So we both went snorkeling together. Um, I think we went for our 10-year anniversary. We went to Hawaii. And I snorkeled for the first time. And it was amazing experience to see the fish and, you know, the wildlife from the water. It was so cool. 
But the memory that really sticks out to me the most from this snorkeling experience, because we've been snorkeling since then, is the fact that I was, uh, you know, snorkeling, swimming away, and having a good old time. And my husband just kind of started trailing behind me. <laughs> and I didn't realize it. <coughs> Only to come out later and find out that he left me alone snorkeling because underneath me there was an eel <laughs> which I didn't even see I wasn't paying attention to the eel that was I guess right underneath me but it freaked out my husband so much that he left me to die with the eel <laughs> instead of pulling me away or like grabbing my feet or alerting me that there was an eel like right underneath me just left me <laughs> So I always tease him. I always tease him. I always say, you know what? Remember that eel? You know that you're gonna like let me die. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> so I thought this was very, very fitting to represent that that phase and that stage of our lives when you know I went snorkeling in Hawaii and he left me. The eel was gonna kill me. He let it happen. <laughs> so that's a very fun memory for me. All right, I'm coming up on my 22 minute mark almost. So I'm probably gonna go keep on going for a little bit because I'm actually almost done. So I may be able to keep this under half an hour. All right, so the next pieces I bought are essence pieces. Um, let's start off with the first one. I decided to go crazy in my pinks. Um, I don't know why. I got the love, which I believe is the pink moonstone. Which, again, I didn't really care much for when it first came out. But I found one with a little bit of flash. See that? So I went for it. Because I have other pink essence colored um, beads. <coughs> and I do like my pinks. I do, but... Oh my god. What? What, what is wrong with you? Okay, that's lovely. Really? Seriously. Okay, oh, what? Go get it! Go get it! Come here! Come on! You weirdo! <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I don't know if you can hear that. <coughs> I'm happy she's not here in my business at least. She's just entertaining herself, that weirdo. Anyways, getting back to this. Um, yeah. Oh, there is my timer. Okay, so I've reached my 22 minute mark, so I'm gonna keep on going. Probably be able to finish this off. And be done with it. And finally I can wear this stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I have my pink moonstone here for love. And I got more pinks. So which is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna be able to like have a whole pink bracelet, which was not my intention, but that's what I ended up being. Happiness. <coughs> a really pretty ballerina pink enamel. I think it's very pretty. It's very cute. Very soft. Very feminine. And I have my last mosaic one, which is Compassion. Elizabeth bought me the blue one for Christmas. I bought myself the white one in my last haul that I showed you guys because, again, it was getting retired. Yeah. And now I got the pink one to finish my collection. So, you know, I just realized I always actually avoid um mother of pearl items because it's mother of pearl so i just realized that it just dawned on me that <laughs> i want to be very careful when i wear these that's all and then i have the only silver one that i got which is the caring bead there was another one i think it's called affection i was kind of on the fence um for some reason i can't I like the design on it, but for some reason I just feel like it was kind of flat, so I didn't buy it. I might buy it later on on a rule off if it pops up there. We have this, which is a very intricate pattern, and I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, almost finishing off. We're starting with the bracelets. I showcased this on Instagram already. Which is the Love Signature Bracelet, which I'm actually really loving. I was kind of concerned that you wouldn't be able to make out the love. Oh my god, what are you eating? Hey, stop. 
You're not supposed to be eating that. Oh my god. Ninja, really? Gross. Why do you do that? Oh god. Sorry guys, my dog loves to eat paper. Yeah, but I don't know why. Oh my god, can you stop it? Ew! Ew! You're so nasty, dog! Ew, stop. Enough. No, no, go away. Yeah, go. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, no. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, oh, I was concerned that it, you couldn't really make out the love script, but you, you can. You can make it out. And on my Instagram picture, I posted, I, I wore all of these, like, little chain ones. I think I have one, two, three, five now. And I wore them all at once. And I liked it, but they do kind of get jumbled together. So I think wearing maybe two or three at the most is probably best so that you don't get all mixed up. But I got this off of Badler, I think. Yes. Got that. And I got this one off of Rue La La. Which again, I didn't really feel like I needed. <coughs> but on those days where you just don't feel like wearing your chunky charms, you know, your heavy bracelets, this is a nice alternative to wear, you know, if you still want to be like, oh, I want to wear my Pandora, but I don't feel like wearing all those heavy charms. You can wear these instead, which I do all the time. So I got that off of Rue La La. And <coughs> I also got the fireworks bangle after all. I know I posted this on my wish list on Instagram a while ago. Um, and someone told me, someone messaged me and then they said, you know, it's still there. And I said, yeah, not in my size. And then she came back and says, no, it's in your size. I was like, are you serious? I'm like, well, now I have the money. And she goes, I know the struggle's real. I'm like, yeah, I forget who you are. I'm sorry, honey. But I know we had a small conversation about it, <laughs> but I got it. I'm really happy that I did. And I got it for half off. Yes. I got this off Badler as well. And I got that. The best is yet to come. Won't focus, but you guys know what that means. This is old news. The Spangles, what, Black Friday last year, I think? Is this the Black Friday special from last year? No, I don't remember. But I'm glad I bought it for 45 which is awesome. And the last piece that I want to talk about and have has already been shown on Instagram because I couldn't wait is... Oh my god, now I forgot what it's called. Is it tribute or token? I don't I'll look it up later. But it's this one right here. And on the back of it it says love. And I do plan on having that engraved. My husband's already like thinking of what we could put on here to engrave. It was a gift from him. Um for something. He, he it was an appreciation for something that I did for him for his family. So I picked it out, but it's a gift from him. <laughs> he approved. <laughs> so I'm really happy about this. It really reminds me of Tiffany. Um, the, you know, like me medallion style um, pendant. What I love about it too is that the opening is heart shaped. As you can see. And like I said, he's already thinking of what to have in gray back here. So I can't wait for that to happen too. So it might be something as basic as I love you or maybe like our our names down here somehow or something i don't know but it's gonna mean even more to me once he gets that engraved so love love this piece right now this is my ultimate favorite right now that i'm wearing i love it it's a nice solid chunky piece of silver it's very classic style i think it is a little bit on the big side i think but i like that i feel like if i wear something dainty kind of just gets hidden you know, on my neck. I don't know why. I just kind of feel that way for some reason. <laughs> <coughs> and there you have it, guys. This is what I've been working on for the last three months. Or two months. I know it's a lot. Um, this isn't even everything I wanted. I, like I said, I missed out on some earrings. Uh, so hopefully, once they get on um, Rula. I'll be able to, to finish and you know that wish list, I guess I should say. Um, 
We are coming upon the Pandora Buy More Save More event. I will be participating most likely, but I'll be focusing on the outlets. Not on the new stuff, the new stuff can wait. Um, I don't have a lot from the Valentine's Day. I literally have like maybe two or three pieces that I liked. Um, and spring has never been my cup of tea. Unfortunately, I don't really love everything from spring. It really, I probably just want a couple of things there too. I don't remember right now off the top of my head. <coughs> I also change my mind a lot too. Once I see it in real life, then I change my mind a lot. You know, I'll, I'll watch, the, I'll see the online picture and not think much of it, and then I see it in real life, and then go crazy. <coughs> so we'll see. Um, but yeah, but there's a rumor too that the spring isn't going to be included in the sale. So you don't know, you never know. So thank you so much for joining me on this video. Um, I should be hopefully posting the Trobies Fantasy Necklace after this, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you once again for spending some time with me and until next time i will talk to you guys later bye